Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Um, today we got an article uh, called Conjoint Twin Abby Hensel is Married, and everyone is asking the same question. I wonder what this question is. All right. Um, after finding out that the conjoint twin Abby Hensel had gotten married, people were left asking the same question. I identify as people because I'm asking the same question. And we all know the question that we're asking is, did he get the buy one, get one free deal? Okay? Oh, we got an ad. Let Ukraine defend itself. These are probably the same people if you tell them let Palestine defend itself, they'll have a problem with that. But Ukraine, that's neither here or there. Okay? Uh, conjoined twins... Abby and Brittany Hensel went viral in 1996. I was a year old. After appearing on the Oprah Winfrey show. Okay. They went they went on to star in their own reality TV show titled Abby and Brittany on TLC in 2012. Okay. So far so good. In recent years, little has been known or heard from the two sisters until earlier this year. It was revealed that Abby had tied the knot. And now, everyone's asking the same question to the twins. Is he smashing both of you guys at the same time? Do you guys share the same hole? That's exactly what's going on through my mind right now. And that's exactly, and that's exactly what's going on through your mind as well. So don't play and don't act like you're holier than thou, okay? Let's get back to it. Abby and Brittany were born... Born fused at the torso would separate with with separate spinal cords, brain, brains, and hearts. Okay, so they have two brains. Okay, so okay, cool. They didn't say if they had two, you know, the twins share bloodstream and their organs are located below their waist, with Abby controlling the right and Brittany controlling the left side of their body. Okay, all right. Teamwork. When the twins were born, doctors confirmed to parents that separating them could result in one of the twins losing their life. That's usually that's usually how it works. It's either one loses their life or both, but they obviously decided to not do that and uh, save both of them. Okay. How could you pick between the two? Exactly. Mike, the twins' father, said during a 2001 interview with Time Magazine. Oh, look at them. I had the same camera, too. The twins have not allowed their unusual relationship to hold them back. Graduating from Bethel University in 2012. So hold on. So if one of them wanted to go to college and the other one did not want to go to college... How how does that work? Because you're forcing the other one go to, to to class with you. This is weird. In recent years, they have been working as a, as teachers at an elementary school in their own in their home state. So hold on. So they split the salary, or are they? So let's say one of them, so they, do they get each get a salary or the, the salary, one salary is split between the two? So many questions. So many questions. People have been curious about us since we were born for obvious reasons. The twins said in the first episode of the eight part series, according to ABC, but our parents never let us use that as an excuse. We were raised to believe we could do anything we wanted to do. All right, what? But what if the other one did not want to do what the other wanted to do? I don't know. I'm, I'm just... Despite opening their lives up to the cameras in a series of documentaries and reality shows, the twins have kept out out of the spotlight and have have kept out out of this okay so they stayed away from the spotlight all right so one of them is shorter than the other one okay Brittany said in the documentary joined for life Abby and Brittany turned 16 
the whole world doesn't need to know who we're dating or what we're going to do and everything. All right. So when one of them is married, does that count as a threesome? Because the other one's going to be right there. And if they share the same hole, she's going to be feeling it too. So I, I you know what? I don't know. My mind is going a little bit too far. Let's go back. Uh, let Palestine defend itself. Yes. Yes, let them defend it themselves. They did. However, rev they did, however, reveal they would like to start a family one day. Yeah, we're going to be mums. I'm gonna, okay, so they're from the, US, the UK. Brittany said in the documentary, we, we haven't thought about how being mums is going to work yet. How, you know... Their mom, Patty, shared that is probably something that could work because those organs do, do work for them. Okay? I hope. And earlier this year, it was confirmed that the twins have taken a big step in their journey towards motherhood. So one of them, bro, this guy, this guy got in. Oh, my God. He got two for one deal. Three sums for the rest of his life. Today, confirmed that Abby wed her husband, Josh Bowling, in 2021. Okay. The couple posted a TikTok showing off several photos from their special day. And their Facebook profile picture looked like a wedding photo. Okay. All right. As per Bowling's uh, uh, Twitter profile, which is linked to his Facebook account, he is a Christian, father, husband, veteran, and occasional gamer. And he should add something to that. A weirdo. Uh, since news of conjoined twin Abby Hensel's marriage has broken, the sisters have clapped back at the loud comments from online trolls. Is it is it trolling if they're actually asking valid questions? Like, okay. The question that everybody's thinking about, how do you guys have sex? Because like, when you get married, you have sex. Duh. And if you guys share the same organs, would that be considered as cheating? <laughs> okay? I don't know. I don't know, man. Let's go back. Brittany and Abby captioned the TikTok video showing various ancient sculptures of conjoined twins. The internet is extra loud today. We have always been around. But the problem is they're not asking you that you guys can't get married. They're just simply asking, how would this work out? And since you guys, one of you guys got married, all you have to do is just tell them, okay, this is how it works out. This is how it works. It's really not that big of a deal if you ask me but also i'm not a conjoined twin so i don't know what's a big deal for them okay so they posted the tiktok oh, it looked like two demons but you know uh hensel's marriage has also been at the center of another controversial story oh bowling the spouse of the twins was embroiled in a paternity dispute with his ex-wife Annika Bowling. So, okay. As per people, Annika filed the lawsuit on October 3rd, 2023. The last the lawsuit as reported by Mail Online names both Bowling and a third party, Gavin Vansdale. What does this like why why do we care about this? On April 19th, the results of the paternity test confirmed that Gavin Vansdale is indeed the father of a three-year-old. Vansdale attorney Gregory C <laughs> Simone clarified in court, it's not Mr. Bowling's child, it's my client's child. Okay. Judge Siv Majanger agreed with this finding. Ruling, I think... All the parties agreed agreed that Mr. Vansell should be the edgy, edgy, I always have a problem with fucking pronouncing this fucking 
adjudicated father and Mr. Bowling should be discharged and taken off the birth certificate. Wow. The motion to this effect was granted. So, okay, he's not the father. But aside from this news, after learning about the marriage, many people on the internet have one major question. How do you guys fuck? That's the major question. All right? People on Reddit have started to question the legal side of the marriage. With one user writing, how does this unfold legally? Okay, okay, all right. My mind's in the gutter, and I'm thinking about some other things. So, this is a really good, valid question. How does this work out legally? Since there are two people married to one man, who is on this marriage certificate? That's actually very, very valid. That's a very valid question. Who is he married to? Is he married to this one or this one? Okay. Another person questions, not going to lie. For some reason, I was expecting there to be two guys, right? Having only one guy makes it more confusing. What if they fight? What if one husband, wife, said wants to divorce and the other, you know what? That's actually facts. What if the conjoint twin that had a disagreement with the husband and then she wants to separate and the other one was like, no, I don't want to separate. Now they're stuck with, this guy just, I don't know. I don't know how he's doing it. Oh. Uh. Where are we at? What if they fight? What if one husband wife said wants to divorce and the other doesn't? True. At the time of writing, the twins and bowlings have not yet addressed the legal questions surrounding the marriage. Either way, it seems it works for them. But we all know, we all know the real question that people are trying to 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 find the the answer to is how do they fuck if one of them like if one of them gets pregnant who decides who's what whose baby is it one like is it both their baby or how these are all valid questions anyways make sure you guys like comment subscribe and i will be probably covering another article in the next video